The puzzle was, you've got two painters, and each of them can paint a house in a particular amount of time. Hannah's uh, tall and efficient, yeah. so she paints the house in three days. Fatima, not so much, so nine days. The question was, what if they both painted together? How long would it take? Okay, now I'm going to show you the answer shortly. But first, I want you to remember the three tips I gave you at the start of this lesson because they're what's going to help us. What were the three tips again? There were three verbs. Just tell me the, what the verbs were. Do you remember? Don't, don't look, see if you can remember. What's the first thing? You need to identify, okay? Then you needed to choose, and then you needed to include. Good, good, good. Now, the thing you needed to identify is the most important of the tips because have a look at this question what's the rate what are the units there's an obvious one yeah days okay days that's an important unit this is a time unit but then it's a rate so there's got to be another unit right Jerry what would you suggest house 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 Okay, now, hands down, hands down. I'm going to run out of time if we don't get through this quickly. And that'll be really sad because I've been building on this puzzle for a whole day. So I could do it like this. I could say Hannah can do one house per three days. And Fatima can do one house per nine days. But that's a bit tricky and hard to work with because... I've got different sort of things happening here on the side, right? So I'm going to do something, I'm going to introduce something which I hope will make the question a bit easier. I'd love you to write this with me, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the house and I'm going to, well, I'm not actually going to cut it up, but I am going to divide it into nine equal sections. Now, I hope as we think through this question, you'll see why I've divided into sections and why I've divided into nine. Okay, Hannah can do all nine sections in three days, right? So, how many sections can she do per day? Think careful. Yeah, she can do three sections every day. Does that make sense? Sense? Three sections per day. Okay, I have a rate now. Okay, but this rate is better because I can compare it to Fatima's rate. She takes nine days to do nine sections, right? So therefore, how many sections is she doing each day? One. One. One section per day. Now look, here's the brilliant part, right? Before you remember I said, a common wrong answer is 12, right? Because people just add those, right? Well, you can't add these because they're times, but you can add these because they're rates, right? Hannah and Fatima together, One's going to paint three sections, the other one's going to paint one section. So in a day, Hannah and Fatima together will do four sections per day. Now, how many sections do they have to do in total again? Nine. Nine. So I've got nine sections, four sections per day. What operation should I choose? Nine sections. Four sections per day. Division. It's division, right? It's division. Can you see why? You see, look carefully at the way I've written the units and included them, right? I'm going to do that same thing again. I'm going to write this as a fraction. That's four sections per day, right? But the question was how long? How long? So what unit is supposed to be left behind? How long? It's a time. I want days left behind, right? So you can see that's why I can turn this into multiplication. Right? And then I can cancel, cancel. 9 over 4, I guess we would write that as 2 and... 2 and? A quarter days. Right? And that's how long it takes. Now, just as a bit of an end note before I ask you to pack up, uh, I suppose you could say... Don't write this down. You could say 2 days and 6 hours. Why have I said 6 hours? Quarter because a day is 24 hours, right? So that's a quarter of a day. But are we really expecting that they're actually painting 24 hours a day, non-stop, no eating, no sleeping, 
They're probably not doing that, right? What do you reckon is a normal work day? How many, how many hours in a normal work day? 9 to 5. 9 to, <laughs> nine to 5 is perfect, right? Now, no. 9 to 5... <laughs> How it's, generic. Generic. it's generic. Now, nine, how many hours is 9 to 5? How many hours is 9 to 5? Come on, people, help me out. It's 8 hours. That's my mom's work schedule. It's I'm with the kill on this one. I'm surprised you guys don't do that. Um, 8 hours. 8 hours is not a day, it's a working day. So I think a better answer than two hours and six, two days and six hours, what's a quarter of a working day? Two. It's two hours. Two hours. So I would say two working days and two working hours because that's a quarter, a quarter of a working day. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah. Obviously if they work longer days or shorter days, you could adjust that accordingly. Okay.